Hey team, it's Tara Castaneda here, Diamond Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide, and if you're watching this video, you are either a Ruby Ambassador or a Senior Ruby Ambassador. Give yourself a huge round of applause. Those are incredible ranks to reach. You're a Plexus gem. That's amazing. But do you know what's even more exciting? You're at a place in your business where you're going, okay, my next level of my business is Jewel. It's Emerald. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at actually reaching the rank of Emerald. That is so exciting. And here are some tips that I have for you on how to get there, okay? So I'm gonna be looking at some notes here, but here is what I recommend to help you reach that Emerald status. So I'm gonna call this, Gimme My Emmy, right? Emmy for Emerald, get it? Okay, so Gimme My Emmy, how do I get there? Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is, um, intensity. Okay. So going emerald is not an easy feat. It's not. Um, it's a big jump. You're doubling your team from senior Ruby, doubling it. Okay. So, um, prepare, right? You got to have realistic expectations. Prepare. This is going to be one of those promotions where you got to buckle down, strap in, get ready, brace yourself and focus. Okay, this is that promotion. So you have to have intensity. When you are ready to get there, you'll get what I'm talking about. You're either like, okay, it's happening, I'm in it. You, you know what I'm talking about. So have intensity, have daily intensity. So here's some examples of what that intensity might look like. Um, let me back up just a second. So you, you've gone gold, you've gone senior gold, you've gone ruby, you've gone senior ruby, right? Or getting close to senior Ruby. Getting to gold really was, and maybe even senior gold, was really probably just you, right? Maybe you had a business builder in there, some people don't, but mainly it was, it was your heavy lifting. And then when you got to Ruby and maybe even senior Ruby, you did a lot of heavy lifting for your team, right? You were developing those leaders, right? You were, you were working on that. Um, <clears throat> you were really focused on building your recruits your customer base, your level one, you're going wide with your business, right? So you're really focused on some self in there, right? When you switch to the mindset of wanting to go enrolled, usually around the Ruby rank, you got to switch the focus and it's got to be heavy on the others driven, Okay. I'm not saying go into management mode. Management mode is when you don't recruit anymore. You're not really building your knowledge on network marketing. You're completely letting yourself go. That's not what I'm saying, but you need to have very clear focus on your team, even more so than what you had, right? I'm not saying that this should be the first time you hear this, but it's very, it's very specific at this level. It's all about helping your team reach their rank. So probably to get to Ruby, you had to involve your team on some three-way chats, some events. You're helping people go silver. There's probably lots of silvers when it's getting you to Ruby, right? Um, but around the senior Ruby Emerald place, you're trying to help people go gold and senior gold and even Ruby, right? So it's very others driven. You've got to switch. Your, your role's going to switch. You're going to become more of a motivator at this stage, more of a, um, okay, what can I do to help you reach your high ranks that you want to do? If all you do is focus on yourself and recruit yourself and leave your teammates to, to do their dreams on their own, good luck, good luck. Um, it's probably going to really stall you or completely fizzle out your whole business. You have to have others in mind. You have to be a consistent leader. Now is the time for you to prove your leadership, period. It's either a make it or break it at this stage. You need to prove to your team that you're committed. You need to prove to your team that you are a consistent leader. You need to be available to your team. Now, I get it. You can work your business sometimes. Um, I get that, but you can't work them part-time. You can't. Um, if you need to set up office hours, that's okay. That's okay. But follow them. Don't ignore messages. Don't. You got to be available for them because right now they're they're in that stage where you were, where your upline was helping you get to gold and, and, and you're running and you're running. You need to be that for them. Now is the time for you to really build your leadership. A great book 
I've lost it. A great book, I think it's called The Five Levels of Leadership, something like that, by John Maxwell. Fantastic book for you to read right now. Fantastic book for you to read. It's going to be developing your leadership ability, okay, and expanding your, your knowledge on what kind of a leader should you be. It was eye-opening for me. I read it probably too late. I read it um, months into Emerald when I got stuck at Emerald and couldn't get to Sapphire, but that was really one of the game changers for me. Wish I had read it at Ruby Senior Ruby level. I would have understood it um, and been able to apply it. So really build your leadership. This is it. This is the time for you to shine. This is the time for you to be that motivator, be that encourager, be that trainer, okay? So for you to get to Ruby, your senior gold, you're trying to get to Ruby, or maybe your Ruby getting to senior Ruby, you've really begun to, to, to train your team, right? You're training your level ones, you're helping them train their level ones. At this stage, it's time for you to make sure that that training is really duplicating because about this time, you're probably getting some deeper levels, right? You really need to enforce that training as best you can down. Make sure your team's duplicating it. Make sure your team is following it. Post about your training, which if you're on my team, we have very clear training. Post about that frequently to your team. Hey, are you following this? Okay, awesome. Do you have any questions on this? Okay, awesome. Have you listened to this call yet? Okay, awesome. Did you have Mary Jane listen to this call yet? Okay, awesome. Enforce it. You need to lock arms with your team leads at this point. Your team leads you're going to get to a point where you can't do everything, okay? And in order for, for people to be successful, it's not creating more followers. It's creating more leaders. You have to create leaders at this point. They need to be more in charge of their team. If you have a senior gold on your team, they're a for sure leader. A gold, you're still helping. You're still helping. But a senior gold, they need to be really kind of hands-on in their training. They're a leader on your team. Make sure that you're giving them confidence in their leadership skills. Make sure you're saying, hey, I want you to train your team on this. Let me know how it goes. Don't handhold them. Give them the wings to fly, okay? But develop those leaders and then trust those leaders. If you have a leader that's maybe senior gold and you're feeling that their commitment is, is wavering or maybe um, their leadership skill is weak, help them with that. Encourage them. If they still aren't coming around and maybe they don't really want to work the business, Okay, that's part of it, but I encourage you to reach past that person and develop relationships with their downline. You're not crossing boundaries. That's part of your team. Okay, if they have an issue with it, that's an ego issue, not your issue. It's an ego issue if they have issues with you talking to their team. They kind of backed out anyway, right? So reach down, develop relationships with your deeper levels. That is going to pay off so huge for you. You have no idea because you don't know what the future holds, right? But it also creates a sense of culture on your team. It links people together. You want your team to feel like they're one. You might have two legs, right? And these people over here don't really know these people, but they're on the same team. That's a disconnect, right? You want to link them together. That's going to build the strength of your entire team. And when you need your team to come together to push for you to go Emerald, you're going to need them to lock arms, connect the bridges, connect your sister legs together, connect your leaders together, start a leader's thread. If you want, start a one through three page, but that's, I, I really recommend that usually when you're, you know, maybe Sapphire or Diamond, but get your leaders together, okay? Um, you want to create those leaders. Another thing that I have a huge tip on is if you haven't gone wide with your business, if you don't know what this means, you really need to know at this point. But if you haven't gone wide with your business, um, which means you have a lot of level ones, you need to. You need to build your, your personal recruits. Why? You need to have at least a minimum of two senior gold legs for you to be successful in reaching Emerald. Because the way our compensation structure is, is mapped is you, you can't be successful just writing the coattails of people under you working the business. I appreciate that. It keeps people accountable in this business. So why, why is that important? You have to have so many points in your outside leg in order to promote to Emerald. So you have to have two legs. If you have a strong leg underneath you already, that person needs to be a leader and you need to go, okay, I'm going to have a conversation with you about this. I'm here. You know that. But for my business, I'm probably going to need to focus my time a little bit more on these outside legs. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm not leaving. But you have to do that for yourself. You have to. 
And that's going to require your, your primary leg to step up. And your primary leg is going to go, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the, the bull by the horns here and I'm going to step up my leadership, right? You're letting them fly the nest, so to speak, develop leaders, right? And you're going to be focusing on building a second leg or maybe building a third leg, or maybe building a fourth leg. Um, but you need two legs. You need two legs. Um, if you are someone that doesn't have those outside leg points, you need to make goals, very specific goals and say, I will achieve this many people in my outside leg in this amount of time make specific goals and do whatever you can to make that happen. Do whatever you can to help that team become a gold, a senior gold, a ruby leg. Focus, intense focus on that. Because what will happen is you will have emerald points, but you're not promoting to emerald. And I don't want to ever see somebody do that. Okay, that's, I want you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, so focus on that. Um, Last little piece is I want you guys to um, to know when to incentivize, okay? When you're approaching that rank of emerald, some people like it to happen organically. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But I want you to take a look and go, okay, you know, could I reach emerald this month or next month? What do I need to get my team involved? Maybe that's a contest. Maybe it's a special. Maybe it's some sort of you know, an active special to bring people back, whatever they, that may be, find what works for your team. Find what motivates your team. Do they work well with gift cards? Do they love purses? Do they love beauty products? Do they love free product? Do they love Plexus swag? If they run with that, run with that. There's nothing wrong with doing contests. I think it's fun. I think it's very fun. Also, make sure that your team understands the compensation structure, too. I believe that that's the number one motivator that you can find. If people understand what Plexus truly has to offer in their compensation structure and showing them how to get there, they're going to be like, done. I'm going. Because it's extremely attainable and it's extremely financially beneficial. Okay? So you want to look at, at that too. If you want it to allow it to happen organically and, and just allow it to happen, that's beautiful too. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I tend to be a party of the first the first situation where I want to keep that, um, that intensity going and that um, I like the timeline to go a little bit faster. That's just me. Um, but just know if you are kind of one of those that like it organically, uh, just expect some attrition in that because the longer it takes for you to reach something, the more likely it is to have people fall off. Just a natural timeline. So you're probably going to be, you know, having people fall off and then having to recruit more and having people to fall off and having to recruit more to build that up over time. Whereas if you push forward quickly or incentivize your team, um, you might not have to make up for so much because not um, not a long span of time is passing. If that if if you know what I mean, hope hope you know what I mean there. Um, last piece is by the time you are senior ruby and you're pushing for emerald, you have a serious business on your hands. Serious. You need to treat it like a business, period. Um, otherwise, you're probably going to sit at Senior Ruby for a while. Um, but you need to be very intentional about your business. Um, I talk about this on Going Ruby. This is where I begin the, the conversation about um, knowing how to read your reports and knowing what the numbers mean. I'm going to reiterate that here a little bit. Um, but at this stage, you know, you, you should know by now that numbers are important. Now, I don't want you to obsess over numbers. I don't want you to fixate over numbers. But I do want you to know what they mean. And I do want you to know how to um, track and to uh, project and to know what you need. Because otherwise, you're running blindly. You're like, where do I go? I don't know. I'm trying to get to Emerald. It's a really big number, but oh, I'm just going to go. That's, that's, that's unorganized and that's distracting, right? So you need to learn how to look at your numbers. And you need to be pretty good at it at this stage. You also need to be able to be helping your team understand how numbers work as well. Um, so in my video on how to go Ruby, I'll reiterate it here too. Take a look at where you ended your points last month. And then take a look at what you need for Emerald. So let's say this is the month or maybe in two months you want to go Emerald, okay? Maybe it's it's May and you're like, i got to hit that July 31st so I can go to Hawaii, right? That's the cutoff day for Hawaii. So you know how many months you have or how many days. So look at where you are with your points, where you ended, and subtract that from the number of points that you need to go Emerald, which is 1,500 pay points. 
So you get your number, and then I would say divide that by 3.5. Here's why. In your first three levels, everybody's worth five points, and then your fourth is four, five is three, six is two, seven is one, right? Well, when you are around the Senior Ruby level, you're going to start getting, and probably earlier, but by Senior Ruby, it's probably a for sure, you're going to start getting some deeper levels, right? And so not everybody's going to be worth five pay points when they order product um, at 100 PV. So divided by 3.5, that's an average pay point value per person joining your team. Make sense? Now that gives you some cushion room too because you might have a lot of fives in there, but you might have a couple of sevens, level sevens in there, which kind of weigh that average out. So 3.5 is a good one. So take what you ended at last month, subtract it from 1500, divide that by 3.5. That's going to give you a pretty good number on how many people you need to add to your team or come back and reorder products. That's your goal. Give yourself some buffer because you need to account for attrition. So, you know, at Senior Ruby level, um, I would I would buffer it by 20 people, 20 to 30 people. Um, if you're an older Senior Ruby, um, I would buffer it by maybe 40 um, because the longer you are, the more attrition you're going to have. Okay, if that makes sense, the longer you're, you've been in a business, probably the, the longer the attrition or the more the attrition. But give yourself some buffer. So take that number of recruits, add some buffer to it because you're going to have some people fall off from the previous month. And that's your goal for the month. Do whatever you can to help your team increase by that number of people. Whether that means white lines and actives coming back and starting the product again, or if that means it's new ads for the following month to roll over. Um, so that's what you need to focus on, okay? Um, and do whatever you can. Then divide that number by four. There's four weeks in a month usually, right? And say, okay, each month or each week this month, I'm going to help my team add 10 people. Right? That's a good basis to follow. It gives you direction. It gives you intentional focus. That's what Emerald is about. And when you do that, you're going to have a really good grasp on your hands of reaching that rank. I hope this helps you guys um, figure out different ways and tips on going Emerald. Bye, guys.